Welcome back to the channel. I think before we do anything, we will dive straight into the chasm and go and see if we can pick anything up quickly, just so we've got some fresh stuff to list for the day. Hello, hello. Looks very IKEA, doesn't it? There we go, look. So this could potentially be a pickup. Six into like thirty odd. Oops. I was gonna say, look at the size of that bad boy. Eight quid. It's huge. Be quiet. I guess we'll figure that one out at home. Let's turn you off. Yeah. Well, that wasn't too shabby at all. No major hitters, but we've got some good, solid listings. For a measly £3, we've got an IKEA Savet. Savet? Slavet, Svalet. We never get to grips with their names. An IKEA Svalet lamp. So it's just got a really sort of like modernistic yet simple, sleek design. These are being sold for around about nineteen ninety nine for a pair of two. So if I can get fifteen out of that on its own, I'll try my best. You know me. You know I will. This little thing, I've got it mainly for Ada. It was two pound, and it's selling brand new for like twenty quid. So I don't think there's any resale value in it, but. It says you can record into it and I'm guessing it speaks back to you and moves around and plays up and it's just a very anno annoying toy. How are you doing? Are you okay? I'm pressing record. I don't know what to do. That's the recording from inside the charity shop. Hello, hello, hello. Wab, wab, wab. Absolutely worthless, but Ada's going to love it. Robert's Zoom box for six quid. It does need a bit of a clean up. It does need a scrub up. But as long as that's working, and normally their stuff is working, they test it. They've got um, David who comes in and tests out all the electricals. He would have tested to see if the CD's working and stuff. It's the only reason why I bought it. Um, looking at about 35 to 40 pound back on that for six pound. That's an easy investment, easy. Bag of cars for one pound 50 and I'll tell you for why. There might be some more in here that are worth money that I don't know about, but this tiny little one here, this tiny little one here is a Hasbro transformer from the year. Can't see. I can't see, but it's going to be 80s, 86, 88, something like that. So that alone is probably worth £1.50. Then you've got Hot Wheels trash, Disney cars. I mean, they'll bundle up well. There's like a little, a little vintage bundle. Matchbox submarine. This one looked older. I haven't found a date on anything yet. I don't know, it just looked a little bit older. Uh, Disney forklift, matchbox. Again, another transformer, but I don't think this one is actually transformers. Although it might be, I don't think it is though. 
It feels and looks like a cheap knockoff, but somebody's glued the back on as well, which is obviously a bit annoying. 1984 Remco. So could that be? I hope it's nothing decent because, like I said, they've glued it on just there. That's been glued. I'm going to look it up on eBay. 1984 Remco. Jesus. Okay, not too much money. George Harrison Beatles doll, though. £100 from Remco. Yeah, that's basically why I picked up that because of this one here. So I don't know on the value of that one just yet, but it's got to be worth, I don't know, five or something. And then I'll bundle the rest up. Hopefully it's a really rare one and it's worth 20, 50 quid. It was new. Spin skin, tricks on, new with tags. Two pound. I don't know, the AD333 Tour. AD333 Tour hat. Shrieks on. None listed, none sold. That's probably because I'm not looking into it properly. But that was £2, man. And last but not least for the grand pricely sum of £4 is this Kill Spindy jumper. I've got someone annoying me about a POS system. Shut up, go away. Kill Spindy of Scotland. Believe it or not, this will be listed for around about £35 to £40. Thankfully, it doesn't fit me. But yeah, really, really nice one to look out for, that. There you go. Add that one to your label, Banks. And that's the pickups. I've had some good sales as well. I say good sales. Some sales. Let me just pick them for you. This guy is honestly harassing me. Okay. For £13.99 is this Bose Power Brick. Remember, I sold one before, but it had the adapter on it. I couldn't find. It's only a figure of eight lead. Couldn't find one, so I just listed it for like £6 cheaper. Sold it. Saved somebody a few quid. I made a few quid. Not that you can see it through here, but this is a Casio EXZ750 digital camera. No battery, no charger. No card, no charger. It does have a battery. £33.99. All in. The Pirelli cap, which needs to go out today, sold for £12. This is a really cool one. I didn't know what to price it at, so I just did bids. It is a vintage, back from where I'm from, Northampton Town football club scarf like i'm talking vintage this is old a f like old it's got a few rips in it a few tears a few holes that like rips and tears i've shown it all did start in bids of 4.99 got one bid sold so a grand total of seven pounds 98 in total hopefully someone's got a good old bargain there for 11 pounds and 99 pence is grand theft auto san andreas for the pc that's going global shipping program so by now you would have seen my recent global shipping program video. Hope that helps some of you guys. If you have any more suggestions, please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and make a video for you. And the last sale was listed today and sold today. Annoyingly, it sold with a coupon. Should have turned all my coupons off first because I already priced it quite well to sell, but I'm still happy with it. £179, I had to spend £16 on a battery pack from Amazon. So I bought two batteries, third party, and a charger, third party, bundled it together. £179.99 free postage is this Canon PowerShot SX710HS. I was almost going to keep it for myself, but I've got other plans. We'll find out soon. That camera owes me nothing now. I bought in a big bundle and sold them off. I've actually just bought the exact same battery pack again because I've got another camera I need to list, which is probably going to be about 150 quid, something around there. And it's a Canon PowerShot SX240HS. So it's a little bit lower spec. However, still going to sell quite fast, especially with those battery packs. I've already ended the video, but I'm going to slip this in here somewhere. I cannot let you down. Now, I know for a fact this man has got no use for an LED driver. He's bought one for the sake of it. And that is my man, Macca. Macca has been like my number one YouTube comment section supporter for a very long time. If he's not the first person to comment on every video, he's a very close second. And when he comes in third, or not at all, I start to worry about you, lad. I wonder what's happened to you and where you've gone, hoping nothing dreadful's gone on. Macca, you are number one, and I massively appreciate you. I know for a fact you've got no use for this. Don't even lie to me and tell me you have. You haven't. If you have, I'd be surprised. So massively appreciate the support regardless, Macca. And I'll see you in the comment section of this video right here. Cheers, mate. <laughs> so I need to get those packed up and shipped out today. But I also want to get these things here listed. I want to get these done. At least some of them. Some of them. Does anybody else drink Mogu Mogu? Oh my God. This is like the drink of the, of the gods. The nectar of the gods. I think they actually sponsor Chunk and Philly's podcast. I don't think anybody knew about this, and only me. And then I saw Chunk and Philly's podcast, saw the sponsor in the back, and was like, oh, maybe people do know. 
I think I'm so special sometimes. I had an offer that I almost couldn't refuse to come through today. I had an email from a subscriber. I'm not going to say your name. I think they're genuine as well. I don't think they're a troll. I'm just going to read it out to you. Hi, Ricky. I have a fetish for buying old, used, unwashed clothing. What do you do with your old clothing? Do you throw it in the bin? Please don't turn anything old into cash. I will buy. I know this is an unusual request, but it's each to their own. I only pay cash on collection. And you are right. It is each to their own. I'm not like dissing the guy. I didn't respond. So they sent another one saying, even if you have a pair of old socks with holes in them, I'll gladly buy a few if you wear for a week first so I can prove I'm genuine. Please ex extra easy cash in your pocket. Regards. So I responded to that one. Yeah, no worries, pal. Send me a grand. <laughs> Send me a thousand pound. And the chap said, hi, Ricky. That's far too expensive. Are you far from X location? I responded, I wasn't being serious. Do not contact me again. And they responded with, okay, take care, pal. All the best. Like, I know you obviously watch my videos, so you're going to watch this. I don't hold any judgment against you, but I've got no desire to help you acquire those kinds of items for the love nor money. So when I said don't contact me again, I didn't mean like, oh, I didn't mean that in a harsh way. I just meant that as in like, regarding your fetish, don't contact me again. I'm not your man. However, if you'd have sent me a grand, I would have took the socks off that I was wearing there and then and popped them straight into a mailing bag. <laughs> Oh dear. So it is actually 4 p.m. It's the same day that I filmed my GSP video. It's late in the day. I just come back from the charity shop. Had a quick, I got bored, so I went for a quick browse. I'll pick these sales for you. So I don't really have much else to say today. <laughs>